forget to add to the girl who's, who was talking about me, Shauna Kane. She also called me a drunkie. She called me a drunkie. This is who is getting pushed out in the gospel community, these type of people. She called me a drunkie. So she called me by my past. She was laughing. She thought it was funny. And this is demonic. Like, look at how this sounds to the Lord, right? So this is a spiritual war. Oh, wait, maybe you don't believe in spiritual war because you're obviously not speaking spiritually. But this is a spiritual war. So there are spirits that are attacking me. There is a spirit of addiction that I broke. I broke it through the power of the Holy Ghost, through Jesus Christ. It took true power to get rid of that spirit. I broke hexes that were put on me because of people in my earthly family, because of my ancestors that do witchcraft, that did and still does, because my earthly grandmother does witchcraft. She does voodoo. Y'all, this stuff is deep. So it's like, when you have that, like, Put it like this, it's not my fault and anyone else's fault that they have a spirit attacking them because of their ancestors. So while she over there laughing, ha ha ha, drunkie, <laughs> the spirit of addiction is attacking her. <laughs> Instead of praying, because that's what you're supposed to do for the body of Christ, they don't do that, y'all. These fake Christians, they don't do it. They don't. They judge. That's why you're getting rid of them. That's exactly why. You're serving no purpose. It's purposeless what you are doing. So while the song may be good, your spirit ain't. But it's like stuff like that or people that laugh at suicide, right? <laughs> the spirit of suicide is, is, is attacking her like <laughs> she, her life must suck that's a spirit attached to it that I no longer have so I ain't worried about that I ain't worried about the other one either I don't have that either but the spirit of suicide that's not something to laugh at it's a spirit attached to it so while people over here laughing at spiritual like think about it you're laughing at a war <laughs> There's a war. <laughs> a war. That shows you don't even have your sword. That shows you are not dressed for battle. You're not even ready. And I don't even think that's funny. Neither do I think it's funny that you're going to hell. So, y'all. I hope y'all get the gist of this. The purpose of it. Why you should take it serious. When you see an anointed follower of God. There's nothing funny about demonic attacks. But these people, they see with their natural eyes. And you know what? This is the thing. This is the thing. They're righteous in their own doing, right? So they never really had to access true power because... Let me tell you what most of these fake Christians go through. And they're like, oh my goodness, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Pharisee, Pharisee hand, whatever, hand jitters. The Pharisee hand jitters. The Pharisee praising. No Holy Spirit. Because look, their problem was probably something like premarital sex. Lust. They got their heart broken way too many times and they fed up. Yeah, they get fed up and then they go to God and they're like, I give you my life. Let me tell you something. Some people have been through more than attacking the spirit of lust and actually wanted to break cycles and actually wanted to access power and actually had witches in their family that they had to break off. They, had, they actually had to fight literally for their life. They actually had to war in a spirit 
day in and day out and fast like it ain't nobody's business and it ain't nobody's business but y'all don't be like them when you pick up the word of god do it so that you can receive all of god don't just let him take one area of your life and say okay i'm good i'm holy because then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look down on all these other people don't do that when you have true power you won't do that because you'll really recognize the warfare that's going on behind the individual you're not going to look at the person with some um what is it with specks in your eyes you're not going to look at the person with specks in your eyes you're going to literally see the spiritual warfare going on and you're going to actually have sympathy for that person but y'all that's it have a blessed day week month and a year in jesus name